Tonight's lesson is Lesson 7.6, Part 2. Rename fractions and mixed numbers. Our essential question is how can you rename fractions greater than 1 as mixed numbers? Please turn to page 143 in your Go Math book. So part two of our lesson is going to focus on changing an improper fraction or a fraction greater than one to a mixed number. So here for number nine in, on page 143, we have 31 sixths. And I can see that it's an improper fraction because the numerator is greater than the denominator. So I want to change that to a mixed number where I'm going to have a whole number and a fraction together. So what I can do is I know that in this 31 6 I'm going to have to change it into the sum of unit fractions. Remember, the unit fractions are taking one unit at a time and adding them together. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. You don't have to write this down in your Go Math book because it won't fit. So go ahead and watch how I make my 31 6 into unit fractions. Okay, and here it is. So you see why I didn't want you to write this in your Go Math book. So what I did was I turned 31 sixths into unit fractions. So I have 1 sixth 31 times. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make groups of 6 sixths. So I'm going to make groups of holes to see how many holes we have in this 31 sixths. So I know I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I'm going to go ahead and group that together. There's my first hole. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Two holes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Three. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And notice that I just put them in rows of 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There's another hole. But then I have this 1, 6 left over. So what's my mixed number? I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 holes and 1, 6 left over. So there I just changed my improper fraction, 31, 6, to 5 and 1, 6. Now earlier in the year we also learned that you could do division to figure out what an improper fraction to a mixed number is. So we could say that 6 goes into 31 5 times, which would be 30, and then we have 1 left over, and we keep our denominator the same. Now I can check this by doing my multiplication and addition way. I can say 6 times 5 is 30 and 30 plus 1 is 31 and then I keep my denominator the same so 31 6 is 5 and 1 6 okay let's look at number 10 I have 20 tenths and I need to change that to a mixed number so go ahead and watch as I turn 20 tenths into groups of the sum of fractions of 1 tenths I need to have 20 of them Okay, I have 20 one tenths because my numerator told me that the, I have 20 tenths. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to group my one tenths together. So I have 10 of them. So I have 10 tenths in one group, which is equal to a whole. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There is one whole. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and I have two holes, and I don't have any fraction parts left over. So 20 tenths is equal to 2. And I could do it the division way by saying 10 goes into 20 two times. So they both work. Okay, number 11 says 15 eighths. I need to turn 15 eighths into a mixed number. So I know I'm going to have 1 eighths as my unit fractions, and I need to have 15 of those. Okay, here are my 15 1 eighths as a sum of unit fractions. So what's my next step? I need to group them to add together with 8 eighths. So 8 1 eighths makes one whole. So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There's one whole. Now let's see if I can make another whole. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I only have seven eighths here. I cannot make a whole. So my mixed number would be one whole and seven eighths. So that is my mixed number because I cannot group these one eighths together, these last ones, because there's not eight of them. There's seven eighths. So that's what I put my fraction part left over. Now I can check this by doing addition and multiplication. So eight times one is eight and eight plus seven is 15. And then I keep my denominator the same. So it works 15 eighths. Okay, number 12 says 13 sixth, and I need to change that to a mixed number. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a sum of unit fractions, one sixth, and I'm gonna do that 13 times. Okay, here are my 13 one sixths. So what I need to do is I need to circle groups of six sixths. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Now I don't know if you've noticed, but I've be been putting my one sixth into rows of six already because that's what makes a whole. So that means it doesn't make it confusing for me whenever I make my groups. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, and then I just have this one six left over. So my mixed number is going to be two holes because I have one, two holes and my one six that's left over. Now I can do this with division also because I can say that six goes into 13, so or 13 divided by six, well that is two, and then I have one left over. So it's two and one sixth. Okay, number 13 says 23 tenths. I need to change that to a mixed number. So I'm gonna have one tenths 23 times. Okay, here's my 1 tenths, my sum of unit fractions, and I have it 23 times. Now I need to make my groups and see how many holes I have. So I need to circle 10 1 tenths because 10 tenths is equal to a whole. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There's one hole. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There's another hole, and I have three tenths left over. So my mixed number is going to be one, two holes, and one tenth plus one tenth plus one tenth is three tenths. So that is my mixed number. If I did a division way, it would be uh, 23 divided by 10, and 10 goes into 23 twice with three tenths left over. Number 14 is 19 fifths. Let's turn 19 fifths into a mixed number because it's improper. So I know I'm gonna have out of fifths and I need to make a sum of unit fractions so I need to have one fifth 19 times. Okay, I have my one fifths and I have them 19 times. What I want you to do is I want you to pause the video and I want you to count up how many groups you have of five fifths. That's gonna be your whole number. And then what fraction are you gonna have left over? So press play when you're ready to go over the answer with me. Okay, so I circled my groups of five fifths. So one fifth five times, that would make a whole. So I can see that I have one, two, three holes. There's my whole number. But then I have one, two, three, four, four one fifths, which does not make a whole. So I, one fifth plus one fifth plus one fifth plus one fifth is four fifths. Now I can check this mixed number by saying three times five is 15, and 15 plus four is 19, which means I would have 19 fifths. Okay, let's look at number 15. It says I have 11 thirds. I need to change that to a mixed number. Now I need to make my unit fractions out of thirds. So I'm gonna have one third 11 times, and then I need to group them together to make holes and see what 
fractions I have left over. I want you to try this one on your own in your Go Math book. So go ahead and pause the video, work this problem out, press play when you're ready to go over the answer with me. Okay, let's see what we have. So notice how I grouped my one-thirds. I made them into rows of three so that when I circle my groups, it'll be easier for me. So I know that three one-thirds is going to make three-thirds. So here's one group, two groups, three groups. There's three holes in my eleven-thirds. Then I have my two one-thirds down here. So one-third plus one-third is two-thirds. Here we go, and I can check this by saying three times three is nine, and nine plus two is 11, 11 thirds. And I can also do this division. I could say 11 divided by three is three with two left over, and I keep my denominator the same. Okay, number 16 is nine halves. We need to change that to a mixed number. Go ahead, I want you to try this one by yourself. Okay, in your Go Math book, and press play when you're ready to go over the answer with me. Okay, I can see that I have four holes. So I had to break up my nine halves into one halves, and I had to have it nine times. And when I did that, I made two one halves would equal a whole. So one half plus one half is two halves. That's one whole. So one, two, three, four. So I had four holes and then I had one half left over. You can check this by saying four times two is eight and eight plus one is nine, nine halves. I could also say that nine goes into, or nine divided by two is four with one left over. And then I keep my denominator the same. Okay, here are your homework questions for tonight. I want you to turn to page 144 and you need to do questions one and two. Then you also need to make sure that you do the rest of the questions on page 144. When you get done, don't forget to assess yourself and tell me if you feel like you're a novice, apprentice, practitioner, or an expert. And I will see you the next day in class and we will do some fun practice problems. Bye.